Welcome home everyone. Today I would like to answer one question and that question today is why does the same prayer yield different results? Some receive miracles, some don't. I'd like to point out some of the ver- verses that will be become the basis of my answer. The first one is in Isaiah 42 verse 8. It says I am the Lord that is my name. I will not yield my glory to another or praise to idols. And another one in Romans 9 verse 15 it says For he says to Moses I will have mercy on whom I have mercy and I will have compassion on whom I have compassion. So my first part of the question uh, for the answer of this question is basically God is sovereign. God is God. God will choose what kind of glory, what kind of things that he wants to do. He decides who gets what mercy, who gets what which miracle he wants to give if you see it that way people will say then god is unjust then well let me go back to the question that says why does the same prayer yields different result this this question itself in 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 the middle of it, it, it the, the 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 focus of it is the same prayer with different results so do you expect an exact prayer prayed by different people will exactly yield the same result does this mean that the prayer has the power you know when i when i listen to this it sounds like We think prayer is like an incantation of a certain magic words. When I when I listen to this it, it sounds like like in the films in the Marvel movies when when Doctor Strange is saying the right words and doing this the right things and things will be done. So it's like uh It's a, like a formula. If you say the right words, then things will happen. So it, when you see that kind of a result, the power is in the wizard because it sounds like magic. That means the god who is doing the miracles is under the control of the words or the one who's saying the words that means it feels like the god who's doing this is a puny god because he's, he's under the control of anyone who says the right word for example abracadabra it has to be done you know you know what i mean if you say the the right word or 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 in a movie like uh, the uh, 1001 nights or you know the the the, the genie when you're saying you're doing the right things he has to come out he's being forced to do it because people are doing the right things the genie is not the god he's being forced to serve those who have the words or the things that we got to do god is not that our god is sovereign god is in control so the key is the relationship between the one who prays and the god who we pray to in james 5 verse 16 it says therefore confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed the prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective so 
us as Christians, those we, we who believe in Jesus Christ, our prayer will be effective. The effectiveness of our prayer is decided not on the words, but on the relationship between the one who prayed and the one who being prayed for. Because there's the word here is uh, the prayer of a righteous person. The, the status of the one who prayed is the key. It's not the words or the skill or whatever the right things that to say is making the prayer effective. It's the condition of the heart of the person that prayed. And it says, a righteous person. And the Bible said, we cannot gain our own righteousness. Our righteousness is in Jesus Christ. That means, you want your prayer to be effective, then you, might, you better have the right relationship with Jesus Christ. If you stay in Jesus Christ, then your prayer is powerful and effective because the one that we are close to is powerful. And because he is God, anything he wants to do is effective. But the power is not on us, it's on God. Our, basically our power or what we can control is our relationship with God. So why some prayer being prayed by different people can yield different results? First, because God is not under our control. Second, is maybe those two different people have two different relationships with God. And the last one is, God has a purpose. We don't know what God wants. He knows best. As long as we trust God, then suddenly our prayer is not a demand, but our prayer is just a crying out of a, a son that cries out to the Father, that we say to God the Father, Lord, we need something, but in the end, God knows what we need. And God will give it by His mercy at the right time and the right place, because we trust that He has good purposes for those who love Him. The Bible always say He has great plans ahead of us. So let's trust Him. We keep on praying with the focus on our keep maintaining our relationship in Christ. Then our prayer will become powerful and effective. God bless you.